happy now. He's always got to ride in the gator. Okay, guys, hey, what's up? This is Farmer's Boot selling big. We're going to finish up bailing some bean straw. We asked the combiner to drop the stocks for us. So. back in the radiator. See? Nice clean screen now. There. See? These little covers are supposed to help keep that stuff out. But obviously it doesn't do jack. So. Put that back on it. This always happens when we got really dry stuff and it's really windy. This tractor, but all right, let's see if it cools down. It should, yeah. It's just one of the things about baling bean straw or corn stalks or really dry hay or grass when it's really dusty and windy. This thing just 
overheats. And all you gotta really do is wait for it to cool down and pull that screen. Make sure you get all that dust out of there. Then it, then it seems to work, so. Back at it we go. We head for the sky, it's all right. Our wings wouldn't fly, it's all right. If we are crashing down again. Pieces of love, it's all right. Scattered in mud, it's all right. You're giving me a lie again. And tell me what you want. So we ran out of nut wrap. So we're gonna put some uh, another roll in. Okay. So on most nut wraps, um, you kind of know when you're about out because there's usually a red strip down the middle of the mat net wrap. So if you're fortunate enough to turn around and look at your previous bales that you bailed, you notice that the net wrap has got a red strip on it, and you know you're about out. And the monitor will scream at you too when it's out, so there's, there's another way. John Deere is great for just putting more crap on things. The more junk you gotta take off. Okay. On John Deere net wrap, the wrap that has this green, this green strip, this thick green strip on the right side, that's where the net wrap should go. And then there's these little spacers that go on the inside of the, the tube so that the net wrap stays centered. Otherwise it gets caught on some of the rollers. This way it just stays centered. And you want to make sure that the net wrap is going over, not under. So we just flip this up, flip this back down because this wrap here kind of comes down to a point. You want to pull it to a point. Put that through. And then try it underneath here goes between these two rollers and I'll show you. All I'm doing right now is crimping it between these two rollers. This is just a tensioner. So right now it's between this roller and that roller and then once I start it up it should feed through and this thing should wrap. Says it yeah, so the bale wrapped, wrapped a couple times. What I was talking about earlier, this, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this red strip here on these, on most, on most wrapping, our net wrap, you get a, a red strip to let you know, hey, you're almost out of net wrap. So 
this is wrapped a few times so yeah now we're good time to get back at it hey guys so last night i finished up bailing the bean stalks and today we're starting on corn stalks but uh out in the beans she paired up all the bales and now she's stacking them in a row so later on we can come out here with the flatbed and just haul it home real fast.